one, we're going to find the derivative for f of x equals the cube root of x plus 1 times x squared plus 1. All right, um, so basically we're going to use the product rule. And what I'm going to do is rewrite this as I'm going to cube both sides. So if I cube both sides, I get f cubed of x equals, and I get rid of this radical sign, x plus 1 times x squared plus 1. All right, then we're going to differentiate both sides. We're going to differentiate with respect to x, our f cube of x, and also differentiate with respect to x, our x plus 1 times x squared plus 1. So let's just work on this side first. Um, this is going to give me, using your um, product rule, you're going to take your derivative of your first term times the second term, then plus um, your first term times the derivative of your second term. So that's x squared plus 1 prime. So let's do that. The derivative of this is just 1. So you get 1 times x squared plus 1. Then we have plus the derivative of this is uh, 2x times this one's going to be x plus 1. All right, let's simplify all this. This is going to give us um, x squared plus 1 plus 2x squared uh, plus 2x. This is going to equal 3x squared plus 2x plus 1. So that part was easy. And again, we had this here. So let's differentiate that. <coughs> when you differentiate uh, this piece, you're going to take this is the uh, f cubed. So that's going to be 3f squared of x times the derivative of your inner function. So it's going to be times f prime of x. Now we're looking for f prime of x. So f prime of x, because that's your derivative, it's just going to be 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 divided by this piece, 3 times the uh, f squared of x. So all you have to do is take your uh, 3 um, x squared plus 2x plus 1 divided by 3. Now let's take our f of x and our f of x was a uh, cube root of x plus 1 times x squared plus 1 and this square part, all you have to do is square both of these. And this will be your final answer. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.